What are you trying to do, blow us both up? Make you nervous? It'll do you good, Sam. You'll sweat off a little of that beer. Hey, you've been busy all along. Where are you flying off to this time? Oh, some guy from Vancouver's taking his wife fishing for a couple of days. As a matter of fact, it's been a hell of a good season so far this year. Hey, what is Vixen thinking about you flying? Mrs. Palmer. Only if I have to. I taught her when we first got married. How nice. And now let's all try to make our trip a little bit more pleasant than its beginning. I agree. We might as well all relax. After all, we're going to be spending the rest of the day together. Relax. Ever fly before Niles? A couple times. No great distance, though. Never been in a light plane before. We won't be in the air long. We have to land after we cross the border for custom and immigration check. Is that really necessary? Standard procedure. We have sufficient fuel to fly non-stop to San Francisco, do we not? Well, we do, but we have to land at the border. We could stop in Sacramento, couldn't we? We'd be violating international law. And I suggest you violate it. Huh? If I am correct, with six stops for refueling, we shall be in Havana in approximately 30 hours, at which time you shall be returned. Control of your airplane. After you have deposited Mr. Brooke and myself with the authorities. Right, so you went on this? You knew about this all the time, didn't you? Didn't you? Look, mister, I don't know what your game is, but piracy in the air is an international crime. I am fully aware of the consequences, Mr. Palmer. You will do as you are told. Niles? I'm landing at the border. You do, and it'll be the last landing you'll ever make. I will not hesitate to use this gun. It won't be the first time. You'll have a hard time landing this plane with a dead man at the stick. Your wife would be only too happy to take over the controls, rather than imitate any futile or heroic gestures on your part. It's too bad you don't have a few military secrets you could lay on the Cubans. You couldn't give a few speeches? I mean, about the terrible conditions in America. And Canada, for that matter. Maybe. Well, I'll be. He speaks.